what is going on guys and welcome back to another video We're starting to get the uploads pumping even though I've still got school and in this video I am going to be asking your AFL questions that you have asked me on Instagram I haven't done one of these sit down Instagram videos in a long time I remember I, would, I did one for the most annoying things about footy the rule changes one and the things to look forward to if you haven't checked those videos out, make sure to do so. But in this video, I'll be answering you guys AFL questions. And I did actually get quite a bit, so thank you for the responses. Basically answer all of them. Unless it's like a really stupid one that I got, then I won't be um, answering that. But yeah, since we got a fair bit, we'll, let's just get straight into it. Since we got a fair bit, uh, I reckon we should just get straight into this. Alrighty, the first question is from Archie Roll. He asks me, what is my favorite Saints player? And I'm probably going to have to go with either Rowan Marshall or Jack Billings. Maybe even Hunter Clark. Just three young emerging players who have lots of talent. And they've, yeah, they've been my favourite player for around uh, probably since the back end of last season. Archie Rawl asked me another question and he asked, Will there be footy in 2020? Now that's one of the biggest questions going around here in the AFL community. And uh, my simple response is yes, I do. They apparently are trying to, in July, play a game every night. Not too sure how it would work. Um, obviously, it would be pretty cool. But I do reckon we'll get footy back in maybe end of July or August. But I'm obviously not too sure. Archie Rollers asked me another question. So cheers for all these questions. Uh, who is my favourite AFL player who I have met? And I've mainly met St Kilda AFL players. Like, I don't think I've met too many non-St Kilda ones. I think... Zaharakis at Knox was like one of the only ones. Um, but I think I'd probably go with two legends of the game, Nick Rewalt and Lenny Hayes. Yeah, I was actually in one of the Rui's 300 ad. I might have mentioned it in a previous video. And I met Lenny Hayes at Knox. So yeah, great plays of the game. Archie Rawl has asked me, what is my favorite AFL game that I have been to? Now, I have already made a video on this before, so um, make sure to check that out. But uh, my favorite AFL game that, I'll be, that I've been to is probably the Western Bulldogs versus St. Kilda preliminary final in 2009, when Nick Rewell kicked that goal with a minute to go to put us into the grand final. So we got a question from Deccan Knox, and he asked, what are my thoughts on Dustin Martin? I uh, can't really say much wrong about him. He's a legend of the game. Brownlow medalist, Norm Smith medalist. He's one of the best players in the comp. Top five, I reckon. He wins awards for everything. Like, I wouldn't be surprised that at this day and age that Dustin Martin will win the best and fairest for Carlton, Fremantle, and Geelong, even though he's not part of them. He just wins awards left, right, and center. So we got a few people asked me this question, and we've got T Spears 212, Go Lions 23, all AFL updates and Packology YT have all asked me who is my favorite or the best AFL player. And probably for the best AFL player would either be Cripps, Martin, Fife, Bontempelli, Neil, Dangerfield, Grundy, or Gorn. I currently choose out of the mixture of players that I just mentioned, but those eight or so players are the best. Lucas JM89, thoughts on Port? Don't mind the club. Uh, if I have to rank favorite teams, Port will be probably in the top four or five. I've always liked them for some reason, much more than Adelaide. Uh, probably been getting around them more because of the pair. He makes really good Port Adelaide content. And I know, I know a few Port Adelaide subscribers and I do like getting around them. I, and also, since Port Adelaide haven't really received much success, only the one AFL Premiership, that is also another reason why I don't mind them. Daniel Lother 86 has asked me, who is my favorite North Melbourne player? I have already made a video of my favorite AFL plays. It was a few months ago, but my favorite North player is Taron Thomas. I just like the way he plays. Go Lions 23 has asked me who my favorite Lions player is, and that's gonna have to be Mitch Robinson. I just like his fierce aggression, and I like his personality off the field. Uh, we've got a question from Nick Reedwood. He has asked me, who is my favorite Collingwood player? So a few favorite players from other teams. And my favorite Collingwood player is Jaden Stevenson, probably. Um, a bit unsure on that one, but I do like the way he plays as a new young comer. Uh, he just, hopefully he doesn't get himself into any more trouble. Uh, probably shouldn't be going to the TAB 
in the next few years just to cool off the gambling, but he's a really good player. Uh, we've got a question from Cash Vanderwick, and he has asked me, am I sad about Josh Bruce leaving St Kilda? Obviously I am. Um, he's a great forward, and we would he would really fit well if he was still in our side. And he was, oh, yeah, one of my favorite players my sister's favorite player uh, when he was at the Saints. Ari Thomas has asked a difficult question. If I had to pick any player to get a signed jumper off. Now, we could go past, we could go present. For a present player, I might go like a player who, like if the jumper, if I got a signed jumper, would be worth a lot. Someone like Lance Franklin. If, I reckon if I got a, a signed jumper from Lance Franklin, that's gonna be worth a lot. And then past player, I don't know, maybe, if I could, someone like, I don't know, EJ Witten, that would be, I mean, I know he's not alive, but if I could get like a signed jersey from him, that would be pretty memorable and pretty special. Uh, we got a question from Mitch Ryan 7 He asks, do I think Eddie Betts has played his last game? He's playing for the Blues now, obviously, and um, I don't, yeah, I don't really see him playing on next year, so I reckon the AFL season needs to continue for him to still play. Uh, Isaac Nissen 32 has asked when North win a flag and uh, I don't know 10 years five years 30 years Don't really see him winning one uh, very soon Pac-Man Cairns 2020 has asked who I think the worst player in the AFL is and uh, I Don't really know who the worst players. I've seen uh, Like Paddy Dow Kyle Langford make like every time I watch them on TV They just make dumb mistakes but I wouldn't call him the worst player or anything. But those are just two players who I've seen make mistakes a lot. Malake Sheridan and J Mitch 15. My least favorite player. Didn't make a video on that as well, but probably Taylor Walker. Toby Green is up there as well. No one really likes him. Daniel Lowe, the 86, has asked me if I play footy. And I'm pretty sure he means for a club. And yes, I do. Uh, obviously not now since... Uh, the current climate and I'm really not too sure when I can get back to playing footy But yeah, I'll play footy under 17s and so we got uh, a lot of people asked me this one uh, We got Jordan McCleary, Larry the Lobster 2003, Jackson 54367, Samuel Grayson 1 and One Way Conway all asked me Why do I go for St Kilda? And it's not just because I chose to go for them My dad went for them and my grandpa. So I think my grandpa moved to Melbourne or Australia, I forgot which one it was, and he was living in St Kilda, so he just chose the club to barrack for in the AFL as St Kilda. My dad went for St Kilda, and I was forced to go for St Kilda, and that's pretty much how I became a St Kilda supporter ever since I was born. Andrew isn't available as a username has asked me who or what I think the best game of all time is. Tough one to think off the spot. I can think of the North versus Essendon 2001 game where uh, Essendon came back from 69 points down. I've put that game in a couple of compilations of mine. And maybe the Hawthorne versus Geelong 1989 grand final. I heard that was a really good game. Obviously wasn't alive for it, but I've seen replays and it was really good. Larry the Lobster 2003 has asked me what year did I get into the AFL and basically since I was born, the year really where I could remember going to games, I went to games when I was a baby and I just liked, loved AFL ever since I was born. So probably 2004, 2005, I was born 2003, so basically ever since then. Lucas Riley has asked me the first player I would pick for a team. Now this is tough, maybe for a backman I'd go McGovern uh, forward, Charlie Cameron or maybe Jeremy Cameron. I reckon uh, they're definitely up and coming and they've got a lot of years in them. And for a Ruckman, uh, I'll go Brody Grudney. He's, yeah, the best Ruckman in the league. And then you can obviously say Bond, Cripps, uh, Fife, Martin. But yeah, those are probably the players I would pick. Jake Sherlock has asked me when I think the Saints will win a flag. And that is a question that no one can answer because we have no idea. I reckon we've got a chance in the next five or so years to win one. But we haven't won one since 1966, so what do I know? Not Kniever has asked me who my least favorite team is, and it's either Geelong or Adelaide. Um, I made a ranking teams video, and I just never liked the two clubs. We've always used to get smashed against Geelong, really. Didn't like it how they've had all this success. And Adelaide, we haven't beaten them for like eight years. Gus Benson23 has asked me if I'm a fan of the new 2020 Saints Clash Jumper. Don't mind it, but I think maybe the Deliveroo sponsor is uh, too big and it kind of looks a bit tacky. Munro Jumpers has asked me who I think the most overrated champion player is. 
And this is a very tough question because honestly, I have no idea. Um, I'm not going to go with past champion players. I'll go with current champion players. I don't know. I mean, I was leaning on maybe saying Joel Selwood. I know he's a really good player, but lately he's dropped off a bit. So, yeah, thinking off the spot for current champion players, I don't know. But I'm just going to go Joel Selwood. Oh, Xavier Brownie asked me my favourite unknown player. I'm just going to go with a St Kilda player that most of you probably don't know, and that is Callum Wilkie, just a really good defender. Favourite WA player asked by Stubbsy84419, and that's probably going to be someone like uh, Nat Fife or Tim Kelly, uh, great players. He also asked me, him and AFL and NBA colleges have asked me my favourite teams or my top three. So I'll go St Kilda, Western Bulldogs, and... Um, yeah, we were talking about Port Adelaide earlier, so I chucked Port in as well. Top three teams. So we got a few more questions to go. Trying to fly through these ones fast. Jed Hennessy has asked, the most memorable moment? Uh, the most memorable moment, I don't know, there, there are a lot. You got Gary Moorcross Mark, you got uh, Nicky Winmar when he lifted his shirt to stand for racism. You got a lot of memorable moments. They're just a couple that I can remember that were really memorable. There, yeah, obviously a lot more. Nick Renwood has asked who I think the most underrated and overrated players are. Um, probably underrated, someone like Mitch Duncan. He's always been underlooked at from all the other stars of Geelong. And maybe someone like uh, Mason Cox for Collingwood, probably. Uh, overrated. Kobe Lacrasse has asked me uh, my favourite AFL number. Not too sure what you mean by that, but I'll go with number four. Stars like Gary Ablett and Dustin Martin wear that, so yeah, why not? Sherlock Hunter has asked me how long have I been a St Kilda member, and that's ever since I was born. I think 2004 was the first year I was a member, and so that's 16 years. And Kansi51 has asked me for my top four predictions, if they stand, obviously, if the season's gonna go ahead. Yeah, Richmond first, West Coast second, Giants third, and Collingwood fourth. Obviously, uh, a lot different to the, the original season predictions video that I made late last year. So those were all the, um, the good questions that I got asked, and they were the majority of the questions. I didn't really skip anyone's, to be fair. Um, Tried to get through them fast because, as I mentioned in my other video, I've been very busy with school and it's obviously still going ahead. But if you did enjoy this video, leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new. If you want to um, follow me on Instagram, links will be in the description. It's at Cardman22. So yeah, if you, uh, I might be making more of these sort of videos, especially where there's a lack of footy content at the moment. These sort of videos, um, yeah, I can definitely do and I, yeah, I quite enjoy them. So yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Subscribe if you're new, as I said before, and stay tuned for a Team Coach box break, which will be coming in the next couple of days. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video.